Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're talking about my five favorite fabric, well, knit fabrics to work with. So, let me tell you what they are. Alright you all, so first off, this is one of my top favorites and I realized how much of a favorite it is as I was looking through my closet to see everything I've made with this fabric. Today, um, well right now, first of all, we're talking about a, a ribbed knit. So this is a ribbed knit and I'm going to kind of try to show you a little bit closer up. It's got these little ridges on it. Um, it's kind of thin. It has got awesome stretch. Look at that, both ways, so four-way stretch, and it's got great recovery. So it stretches, but it comes right back to its shape. So it's gorgeous. I love that with the rib knit, you get some beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, there's some great designs. The one thing that I love about rib knit as well is that it is so light and drapey. As you can see, this is a mixture of two patterns. This is the Discover Tee without the color block option with the sleeves from the um, Cuddle Up. So, uh, and I do have a video on here on how I hack this stuff. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about, look at that drape. So it's perfect for loose items. I mean, look at that gorgeous drape. This is a high hopes. I love just, it just, it drapes nicely. And it is also not super hot. So I can actually wear this high hopes dolman when it's still a little bit warm out because um, it's not a super heavy, heavy fabric. So I love this. It's also perfect for dresses. Cute, huh? I just love it. I love the feel of it. It's super soft. It is super comfortable. It is super easy to sew with as well. All right, next up on the lineup is rayon spandex. I do have a little sample here somewhere. Okay, so rayon spandex is one of ones that have snuck up on me lately that I've been using a whole lot. It's a great fabric for like spring, summer. It is a very light. Um, it has got such good, such, it's got such good stretch both ways. So it's a great four way stretch. Um, I love how light and comfortable it is. So it's perfect for those loose tops um, because it just drapes really super nicely. Um, it's a tiny bit lighter than the rib knit and it doesn't have the texture of the rib knit. The rib knit has a little ribbed, obviously, texture. This one's a smooth, um, more of a comfort t-shirt texture, which is perfect for those easy everyday wear. It's perfect for just like a t-shirt, like I was just saying. It is, um, this is the um, the straight fit raglan. It just, it fits loosely, doesn't cling to the body. Um, it, it flows away, it's, it's cooler textured, so it's not like hot, um, it doesn't stick. Um, it's thin, so it just kind of lays nicely. Um, the one thing I will say about rayon spandex is that it, tends to wrinkle. So like if you put it somewhere in the closet, like after you washed it and it's kind of been balled up, you will have to iron it or it will have these little wrinkles everywhere, which a lot of times I don't really care about. But that's the one thing um, that is sort of annoying sometimes having to iron your clothes because I'm lazy. So I want like fabrics that I don't even have to touch with my iron. But other than that, I love rayon spandex and it's really, really easy to work with as well um, because as long as you're using a knit or a, a ballpoint needle, um, it goes through the sewing machine very easily and I don't even usually have issues with it. I love it. Next on the list is one that pretty much everyone knows about. This is Double Brush Poly or DBP. Um, double Brush Poly is great, great, great for pretty much any project. It's got such good stretch. Great for um, dresses, great for tops, great for pretty much anything. Um, it's a lighter weight fabric, so it's not super thick and uh, tight. Um, it does like to drape. Double brush poly, though, it's got a couple of things that people love and, a peop and that people hate. Okay, so one thing that people love about double brush poly is its texture. It feels very buttery. If you think of like some kind of um, 
comfy uh, buttery leggings that is what this feels like not not like the tight trash uh, pressure um, leggings but I'm talking like those really really soft ones um, that um, we love to wear that is what you think of when you feel double brush poly um, it is super soft and it comes on great colors there's always really good prints on double brush poly tons of floors tons of stripes tons of and stars just different kind of oh yeah and prints right so that's one thing and um wa it washes really well and everything uh, for the most part the one thing that people do not love about double brush poly is that it wears a little bit warmer than some other fabrics um it's not um because of of its what it's made of um it the the polyester makes it kind of traps the heat in a little bit um, so if you are hot natured and you live in a hot weather area you might not be able to get away with wearing double brush poly all the time I don't have an issue with it um, I as a t-shirt as a dress I'm fine um, if I'm if it's really hot outside I won't wear like a full-blown you know double brush poly rumper or something like that I do have long double brush poly dresses that I just love and I love to wear and I don't find them hot or anything like that so it is drapey fabric so it drapes really really nice um, one thing that I love 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 about double brush poly is the whole thing we were talking about ironing you do not have to iron double brush poly it is so well okay let me take that back sometimes it could get wrinkled yes if you shoved it up in a pile and it sat there for days then yeah I might get a wrinkle or two but usually for the most part I have not ever have to iron on uh, double brush poly it likes to just lay flat and nice which is really easy for when you're traveling or going somewhere or you know you just want to grab something quick and go which is what I like to do very often um, so that I love double brush poly but like I said you know some people find it kind of warm so you know it's one of those things that you probably just have to try for yourself and see what you think of it another thing that people don't love about double brush poly is that sewing with a sewing machine with a double brush poly can be a little bit you know uh, annoying sometimes um, some sewing machines don't really love double brush poly but mostly I think if you use a ballpoint needle and you give yourself enough seam allowance so that the foot catches the fabric and it doesn't pull it under the plate you should be fine um, and then sometimes there's a few techniques that you can use with double brush poly for better sewing but overall I do love double brush poly all right my number four is cotton lycra now honestly I don't have that many cotton lycra outfits myself um, cotton lycra is great because it's more of a breathable fabric um, it washes great um, a lot of times you can find really fun patterns with cotton lycra lots of really really good solids um, and so I love that I love for color blocking and things like that or like I did here with this dress where I did the cotton lycra at the top and I did a different fabric at the bottom um, but oh, so let me show you I have a swatch right here it's really great stretch four-way stretch um, it keeps the color really nicely um, cotton lycra would be what you usually think of when you think of t-shirts um, when you think of something to lounge in or something like that but the reason why cotton lycra makes it into my top five is because it is my favorite fabric to sew kids clothing with um, it's great because it's like breathable and it's it and it is just soft and um, we don't have to worry about like it being scratchy or anything like that cotton lycra is just great for like kids clothing and I love making little uh, things with it um, the one downside for cotton lycra too is that you always have to be and for most of these fabrics you have to do this when you go and order fabric if you're gonna order online you need to make sure that you figure out the weight um, of the fabric because there are so many different ways that these fabrics come in um, so for cotton lycra if you're doing if you're getting like custom lycra from a from a certain place a lot of times they can tend to be a little bit stiffer um, which means that some patterns will not work really great with it it's 
it's not as flowy as some other fabrics, right? So it's a little bit stiffer in the sense that like if you're making a t-shirt or if you're making, uh, well, a top that's supposed to be flowy, um, if you're using some cotton lycra that's heavier weight, it's not gonna flow as nicely. It's gonna be more boxy. It's gonna be more straight. Um, but some of it, the lighter type of cotton lycra is really great. It flows really nicely as well. Um, but that's just something that you need to kind of check out when you're ordering at certain places um, because it can vary very much so. Um, a lot, and that's for every fabric because they all have different little bits of content. Um, it, you, it can be called um, uh, cotton lycra, but it could be, vary from like a heavier to a lighter. So you just need to make sure that and see what the content is. But I do love uh, cotton lycra for that. And I'm going to show you all because I don't have a mini. Uh, of my own cotton lycra um, makes. So I'll show you a couple of cotton lycra, kid cotton lycra makes that I love. So I think I've been already showing you all along so you can see them and see how cute they are. But yes, that's another one of my favorites. And now we're gonna get to my top favorite. And I know that there's a few that I didn't mention that are great to sew with, but these I'm just giving you ones that I sew with most of the time and I love. So let me give you my last one. Ta -da -da -da! My favorite fabric is French Terry and even Bo wanted to know what my favorite fabric is so he's coming in to uh, find out. <laughs> anyway, French Terry is my favorite fabric. I love working with French Terry. I love that it can be light. I love that it has really good stretch. Mm, I would say two-way stretch some French Terry's. Ooh, that's Bo trying to grab his bone and play with it. Okay. Um, I love the little loops in the back. I love the way that they feel. Um, I just love it so much. I feel like it's almost cozy, but not hot to me. Now, like I've said with many other fabrics, we need to make really, really careful with French terry. French terry comes in so many different ranges. Um, so this is just regular French terry. It's a lighter kind. It's stretchy. It's really good. I, that's what I use for this autumn spice. Both of these are French terries. But there's also some different kinds of French terry. So for this um, around the block, I used a French terry, but this is a lighter French terry. If you can see, it stretches a little bit more. It's more see-through. It's got more rayon in it. So it's like French terry rayon. It's going to be like a softer, more um, flowy type of um, French terry, which is Honestly, that's my favorite type, French Terry Rayon. It's soft, it's thin, it's, it's uh, what do you call it, flowy. I love it. Um, there's also Fleece Line French Terry, which has this really soft and fluffy, fleecy, brushed inside. Um, but it doesn't have a great lot of stretch. Um, it does a little bit, but not very much at all. It's a two-way stretch, but very minimal. Um, so, I mean, I would use it for things that are a little bit looser. Um, I did, I was able to get the cuffs out of it because they're bigger cuffs, but usually if you're going to make something with cuffs or stuff like that, you might want to use something different, like some ribbing or something like that. Um, but it is super comfy, but it is also warmer because it's got that fleece like texture on the inside which so it's like perfect for hoodies and stuff like that or this oversized tee which is just so comfortable but I also love that it is not very wrinkle friendly so it doesn't get very wrinkled did I say that right wrinkle friendly I don't know anyway it doesn't get super wrinkled so I love it um and I just like that it's got so many ranges it's and the best way to get to know French Terry is to actually get to know French Terry. You know, just order uh, different options of French Terry, maybe catalog them, and go from there. All right, I hope you enjoyed these fabrics. Please let me know what your favorite fabrics is so I can try favorite fabrics are so I can try them out um, and see if I love them as well. Um, also, 
I wanted to give you this little tip and it's a tip that like I wish I would have thought about when I was first starting I didn't know anything about fabrics um, so I had a very hard time um, one of the things that I love about Ellie and Mac is if you go to their Facebook page um, and you find out it, the patterns especially the new ones will have what is called a lookbook if you go to that lookbook you will see that the testers post pictures of their makes and they also add on their information about what fabric they used for the, that specific make which is great because then you can see how it fits, how it flows, how it moves. But another thing to do too is if you order some fabric, make sure you catalog what kind of fabric you're getting, at least until you get to know the fabrics a little bit better. Um, maybe even cut a little swatch and put it on a little notebook where you keep track of what fabrics you like the most, what fabrics work best with your sewing machine, and you can even add what kind of stitches work best with those fabrics for your sewing machine, um, tension, all that sort of stuff, which will be helpful later on um, as you're sewing. Alright, so here's Bill trying to say goodbye and um, that's all I have for you all today. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope this was a little bit helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. Comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Come find us on Facebook and Instagram where everybody's um, sharing their beautiful makes and inspiring us with their makes and also where you can share your makes and inspire us with your makes. I can't wait to see what you're sewing up next. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time.